Hello people of YouTube, um, and LEGO enthusiasts. I'm here to show you how to make a LEGO Sonic screwdriver com uh, for the 11th Doctor comparable to the one normally sold uh, for fans. As you can see the size is pretty similar, um, but I'm going to get this out of the way. This is sold by ThinkGeek. And I'm not really sure how to do most tutorials. So mostly I'm going to do a deconstruction and then hopefully show you how to do it yourself just by talking and you can see what parts I use. So uh, firstly, you can kind of separate this into two sections by doing that. These bits are most, these four parts here are curvy yellow pieces and they're normally held in by friction between these two parts which are joined together. Uh, there are spots within the plug in here, but it's the friction mostly doing the work. And here we have this front section. This front section is made up of, as you can see here, eight different slides going up down here, and they're held together by a center core. And if you take apart one of them, oops, take off these studs, you can see that these pieces here, these dark gray pieces, are actually just one long gray piece, uh, roughly about two to two, looks to be about eight studs long, and a four stud long regular piece, and two and one two stud here, and a light gray plate, four studs in length. I use the dark blue gray here. These studs kind of came off. I'll show you where those come from. And the other type of connection are these. These are eight stud yellow plates with six stud uh, regular pieces. One uh, four stud long gray slope, one gray stud, and one gray cheese. Piece. We call this cheese. I'm not sure what they're really called. And there are four of each, each surrounding a core. Which is a bit of a haberdash. build this so you can see. One of these guys took a piece from me. Anyway, what you can see here now is what center core looks like. Uh, getting up really close. Uh, this piece right here surrounded by studs is just what you can imagine. It's got four places like this on each side and one top and so one of those surrounded by studs with two gray studs followed by another one surrounded by studs another one surrounded by studs and an offset you can see that the offset allows it to basically because there's four there's eight different kinds of things going on here uh, four of them hitch onto this and the other four hitch onto this. So that's how uh, it's alternating and it can interlock. So one goes there, one connects there from the top, one connects from the bottom, connects from the top, connects from the bottom, connects from the top, and so on. Uh, so one of those surrounded by studs, uh, two square studs, uh, another one surrounded by studs, another one surrounded by studs, two studs there, oops, uh, one of those surrounded by studs, uh, two more studs, and then one of these without anything on it. Coming then after that are a dark gray circle plate. This is the part right here. This is the tip of the emitter. So this part, followed by this part. This is a basically a thicker one, thicker version of that. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dark green transparent studs on the top and those support 
those support the emitter head, which went on the top. It is... Da -da 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 -da. I just have basically a dark black head, with a light green stud, pushed into this green helmet. This green helmet came from the insectoid Lego sets. Uh, if you're looking to find it, that's what it is. It's a dark green kind. So that goes in there, pushed into the center of these four studs, and I hold it. And basically, that's the emitter put on top of this, and then surrounded by these, just like so. And then the bottom, like we saw. Okay. And then those kind of alternate there. And a quick. You can very much see what's going on. This bottom part now, coming out of here, we have a. It doesn't, the color doesn't matter, but it's a three stud length uh, Technic pin with this little hingey bit there. But I then get a cylinder piece, stick it in there, and this connects into the square. Just like so. And that's what holds that. Then coming down, we have a dark black uh, kind of rocket end bit here with a two pin there and that hinges this to this and this piece actually comes off so imagine I took that back off again we have a yellow circle disc which connects to that that then then comes this white part coming out of here we have another three pin the three pin connects through this hole in here and holds that to this this part gets complicated. I know the rest wasn't, huh? And we have a white, sort of, you can find these on the front of X-Wing Lego sets. And in here I have basically uh, two two by two plates. There's two of them here. I couldn't find a second one, so I just had to use little ones. But uh, you basically want two of these stacked on top of each other to fit into here. And that makes one side of that. The other side is the same deal. And the middle is where it gets, where the magic happens. Here we have two, um, this looks to be about six stud long white slopes with a white one by two plate on each. These come off, you're gonna need to put something there, just like that. Inside the middle, we have one of these with studs on only two sides, held into there. A one of these, which has two studs here, two studs on this side, two studs there, and a red stud there to catch onto this. So when this piece comes on, that kind of holds it in place. It doesn't really connect to anything, but it keeps it from rocking about. After that, we then have a one of these. These are those stud those pieces we saw earlier with studs on each side coming into here I've basically taken a black you know normally for like lightsabers and such but I jammed one through there and that holds onto this which is a yellow it's like a wheel well thing that normally has a tire around it and that's pinned into this blue half pin this part is really once you get it together it's gonna help hold together really well coming for the black pin okay so we'll reconstruct this very quickly here I have it done and we're gonna slide the black pin into here like so and now we're gonna have the thin bit there and we attach it to the sticker part by the center stud of this to the center stud here. I'll show it to you with this one. And the center studs will align. Firstly though, we're gonna take this piece, turn it upside down so the empty square is facing up, 
and put it in so that it is just barely underneath flush. Right. Quickly put that like so. That'll connect on and snappy dappy. We have this piece here. We have our the three pin that was into the yellow into the black. That connects there. This connects to the top again. Here we have our core. As you can see how that works. We'll pop that on. This piece got away. There. Put that back together. See these? We're oscillating top and bottom. So it's top. This goes to the top. This goes to that. Basically, as long as the bottom is flush, everything is fine. This just arrange them on the rim. Generally putting one each that, and then you just take this. Put that aside. Thread the needle, and there you have it. It is back together. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't normally have videos like this, but you may like what I do. Uh, please share the video, and hope you have good luck on your own. Take care, and try BrickLink for individual parts. That will be very helpful. Adios.